Hi, it's Jim from Paints, Pots and Paper. Um, I haven't been here for ages uh, for quite a few reasons. Partly, unfortunately, because I've been quite ill. Um, I only really started feeling well enough to do anything, uh, I think, in the last week of March. So, of course, I spent the last two or three weeks just trying to catch up with everything. Um, as were any of you, if you've not, if you've been ill for any length of time, you'll understand what I mean. Uh, now, what I'm doing, I'm back with this uh, uh, vintage fashion journal that I was making. Um, I have done a lot to it because in between times when I have been able to, I've been doing little bits here and there, and um, the last couple of weeks I've been working on it. So what I'm doing today is I'm just finishing off some bits really for it. I've got a tag that I've got to put in it. I've just got to finish backing it, which I'll do in a minute. And um, also I want to add some more decoration to it, some clusters. As you can see, I've been working quite hard, making quite a lot of clusters. I'm just seeing if I'm in camera because I out of the routine of doing this uh, so you'd have to excuse me if I'm a bit all right well I'm always all over the place aren't I but um <laughs> but even more so perhaps at the moment because I've just got out of the routine and the habit of doing this um however I'm really pleased to be back and I do hope you enjoy it as I was saying I'm going to do some finishing touches to this journal I've been I've been adding lots and lots of ruffles and lace. I can't resist it. I'm afraid it, it may maybe it's a bit over the top. I don't know. I'm still going to add some more inside. There's still more lace to go in it and some clusters and bits and pieces and a few labels and things. There's a couple of pages I want to stencil because they're a bit bland and a bit light for me. Um, but so I'm going to continue on with this. You'll have to excuse me if I have to pause the video because I am expecting um, a, a delivery today, a parcel delivery um, and I, I'm the only one in the house today so I don't want him to go off and just leave it somewhere uh, but I will share it with you in my next video because it is all stuff that I've bought from um, Amazon. I, I was looking I was watching a Meg Journals uh, video and I thought it looked really fun. She was using some rub-ons and I haven't got any. And I have used them a couple of times in the past and quite enjoyed it. And um, so I thought, mm, I'll go on Amazon and see if I can get some. And that was it, straight down the rabbit hole, I'm afraid. Um, spent a small fortune, bought some bits and pieces that I didn't have. Um, but I won't tell you what they are because as I say I'm going to uh, unbox it in my next video and just show you what I've bought um, I don't know if I'll be able to remember the shops that I got it from but maybe I will uh, but anyway to continue on with this um, I'll give you a quick flip through of it but when it's completely finished obviously I'll flip through it properly I'm hoping I'm in camera here I'm just going to see if I can raise you up a little bit. Sorry about this. That's it, just to give it a bit more, hopefully a bit more space. Yeah, I think you're in camera, that's it. Or I'm in camera, should I say. Um, yeah, so anyway, this ladies' journal, I've decorated the front. I think that's as much as I'm going to put on the front. Um, and... I've been adding things to pockets and um, some of them I've still got to put some tags in, as in this one. So I've got those to make yeah. Um I've got some bits that I've clipped in. I have got some plain pages and I want to put uh, some lace on these and also probably a few clusters. Um, it will be bulky. Most of my journals end up bulky. I like fat journals. Um, I know it's not to everybody's taste, but I do love fat journals, and I think they're just 
I don't know, they're just lovely to handle. And I've put uh, made up documents and things. As I say, I will go through all of these properly when I do the flip through. Just want to give you an idea of how far I've got. I've got a um, envelope there with something in it. With a couple of pages. Plenty of journaling space. As well as lots of decoration. As I say, there's pages I need to put just small bits on to decorate them. I don't like all my pages too plain. Um, and perhaps a little something in the corners, things like that. That's This is a page that I need to stencil because it is too plain. But I want to keep it as a journaling page and I'm going to put that up the top of it. Uh, there's another one, Lisa, this lace I've sorted out. I'm going to put in along the bottom there. And also, I think, along the top. That would be quite pretty. I believe, yeah, that's got a couple of journal cards in it. Um, as you see, more frou-frou and stuff. Uh, some tags in there. And, and that's a, a label I'm going to put in there. I think it'll go nice on that page. Some lace I intend to put on that one. Got a little tuck, up tuck I've put there, uh, a little pocket inside in the centre, and a bit of Edith Holden in it as well. Um, that I've got to back, and I'm going to make it into a little pocket and put a little tag or a little fold out or something in it to journal on. There's another envelope that has got something in it. Um, yeah, that, that's just the other side of the envelope. That's just a decoration, it's not an up, up tuck or anything. But I'll probably reinforce this with maybe a ball draw or some lace or something. Uh, this is one of my pockets that holds two tags. That tucks under there. That's a journaling page, another tag, journaling page, music sheet. That's a bit speaks for itself with another Edith Holden. Some ladies. Um, this has got tags in it. It's a, a fold out, which as I said, I will show you later. Um, I particularly love this page. I think it, that was out of a digital that I downloaded, but I can't for the life of me think of where. It might have been from the Digital Collage Club, but I'm not certain. Uh, there's another envelope there with a little document thing in it. More bits that need decorating. This one's got tags in it that I've made. There's lots of lace and lots of pearls in this. There'll be a few more pearls. In the end, there's some more tags there. And I've got lace, I think, to put on these. That's a uh, document, a lovely piece from an Art Deco book. I'll just quickly show you, which is a, of a cruise, and there's a flip out in it. It goes that way. And that's more journaling space. So yes, yeah, so I'm definitely nearing the end and I'm really excited because I love to see it finished and when it is of course it will go on my Etsy shop. I've got one tag in the back but the one that I'm working on I think it will fit. I'm just going to try it out. I don't know whether to back it or not. It's quite a tight pocket. I think I'll still back it so that it goes in better. So that, that is as far as I've got the back's decorated. I don't think I'll be putting any more decoration on the back. Um, so anyway, I'm going to put that to one side and I'm going to get on with this tag. Which I've done that part but I've cut out. It's already backed. I found this tag and it's already backed. So I'm just going to glue this on here. Try and find some of my bits and bobs here.
because we're having a, quite a nice day here on the island. It's not as sunny as it was yesterday. And the glue doesn't want to play and I don't know where I've put the pin. Oh, here it is. For what it's worth, it's a bit... But um, in the last three weeks have been the first time really this year. Well, I know I have done odd little videos and bits, but I haven't really been able to get much done because, as I say, I haven't been well. And then I had to also had to finish off some pottery. Uh, lady ordered some coasters and I had a few other bits too. I'd run out of a couple of things in my shop. And uh, my nails have been chopped short, so excuse them, I don't polish them or anything because they have to be kept short for the pottery, otherwise you can gouge the clay. And um, I've got to do some throwing. Now the nice weather's here, I don't mind going down to my potting shed at the bottom of the garden and throwing some pots. So I'm looking forward to going down there and doing some of that and I'll uh, give you a show of what I've done. I've done it, I have got a couple of new bits that I'll just put in the shop. I've got a couple more bits to go and that's in the paints, pots and paper shop. Um, my journals go in Jop Journals Creations, um, but I'll link it all below anyway. keep hearing doors go outside and thinking it's the delivery man and I've been waiting in I'm waiting well I'm also waiting to get down my garden and put my washing on the line which has been sitting there since this morning but I haven't dared go out down the garden because I won't hear him knocking from down there so yeah I've had to just sort of uh, sit tight and wait so I I'll be glad really when he's been so I can get on with things but I couldn't delay doing this anymore today so I thought well if he does come then I'll just have to pause the video because the dog will bark and all hell will probably break loose for about five minutes and also of course my partner is out at the moment could come bowling in at any time um, which is fine. He's uh, out with his mates on their bikes down. He's gone to ride today on the bikes. Usually means he's out for a little while, but because it's quite a distance from here. But yeah, and it's it's quite a nice day. It's, it's sunny and warm. Uh, clouds over a bit from time to time. And we had a glorious afternoon yesterday. Um, but yeah, it's just as nice today, really. Not quite as so much sunshine, but there is sunshine and it's warm, it's nice. So, uh, yeah, when I've finished in here today, I've got some um, seeds to put in the garden there and eat. Ones I've just got to sort of scatter with the uh, poppy seeds that I saved from last year, but I've dug up all my poppies from the main bed because we're trying to make all the beds um, low maintenance. So I saved a lot of seeds from them last year, and I don't really want them anywhere else in the garden because they do tend to 
sprayed a lot. I mean, they look beautiful, but I want to be able to see my shrubs and some little plants in between them. So what I'm going to do with my seeds, what we've done this year, um, where we used to look out onto fields, unfortunately, they're now dig no, not digging, they're now, well, they're not digging. They're now um, building some houses, which means they've dug all the field up, all the horses paddocks that we had there. Um, so, and you know, we, although they've left the stretch behind us, a small stretch behind us, um, which will be sort of for wildlife, I presume. Um, obviously, we're going to lose quite a lot of our wildlife that we get in the garden. So, what I'm doing is um, trying to make the garden as wildlife friendly as possible. I mean, it, I always have had it quite wildlife friendly, but what I've done this year, what we've done this year, is um, we've got two fruit trees out there, and we're leaving a huge oval round them where the grass won't be cut anymore I'm going to take them corners off and um, also there's another spot down the bottom we've got a row of sheds and decking at the very bottom of the garden and um, there's like a triangular bit once we put the path now we've put the path through next to the fruit trees leaving that oval we've got a triangular bit down the bottom and we're going to let that grow but at the very bottom it's very damp and nothing much grows there so what I'm going to do is along the very edge of it in front of the decking down at the, the uh, veranda is um yeah sprinkle all these poppy seeds uh just hopefully just to get a little bit of colour down there at some point um so yeah I'm waiting to do that this afternoon as well but at least we've got the longer hours, haven't we? So, you know, it, it gives you a bit longer, doesn't it, to get things done if you want to do things outside. Uh, it gives you a little bit longer in the garden or doing whatever you want to do when you need the daylight to do it, so to speak. Now, I'm going to... Um, I'm going to put a, a lace tab on the top of this one. Very quite pretty. Cut it about there. Oops. Nice piece of lace coming out of the top. Although I want to be careful here because I don't really want to chop her head off. So um, I think I'll just see what sides put on this first. We all have a bit of a problem with lace, don't we? I think that's the back. Pretty sure it is, or is it? What do I fuck up my light on, I suppose? Yeah, I'd say that's the front, and yeah, I think that's the back. It is now. Right, I'm going to have to cut this shorter than I thought, actually, because it's going to be. It's not going to go down as far as I thought it was, and I'll be chopping her head off. been so looking forward to getting 
back doing this. Not only have I felt really rubbish and had no energy, I have been so bored. And I have been doing some fussy cutting whilst in bed and, you know, easy little bits and pieces like that, but, oh dear, nothing so boring, I don't think. Come on, Fabri Tech. I was happily stitching around quite a few things actually the other day until my machine started plying up and um, I couldn't work out why it kept getting caught up inside for some reason the thread, the upper, I think it was the upper thread, yeah and uh, I come to think then I realised there was a bit of glue on the base bit of the sewing machine and I think what's happened, oh, I've got some inside there. I think what's happened is I've uh, run it through, uh, run a tag through it, or something else through it, or well, the glue's still been a bit damp, or still a bit, you know, sort of um, sticky. And I think it's taken a bit of glue up inside. It was certainly on the, um, I don't know what it's called, the little tooth bit that carries the fabric along certainly was a bit on there and some on the actual white bit of the machine so yeah I'm pretty sure that uh, that's what I've done so I'm going to sort of try and give it a good clean up I did start cleaning it up this morning uh, and hope for the best and I'm just going to keep running it through and running it through until it works properly before I start taking it to uh, professionals to look at it, because that all costs money, doesn't it? But yeah, what a stupid thing to do. And I'm certain that's what it was, because it was working perfectly beforehand. I never really had any trouble with it from that point of view, not at all really. It's quite a new machine as well. Um, so yes, yeah, so I've got to try and fathom that out. Now what I'm going to do, as if I can without getting too covered in glue, which is what I usually do. Um, I'm just going to put a few little um, pearls along there because this will be on the back. So it won't catch on anything and um, I think it'll look, I've put it on a couple of the other tags and like the look of it so let's try and get hold of the plastic thing. This is the only trouble when you chop all your nails off and these silly things stitch. I wish really that I had some flat back pearls that didn't have glue on. Whoops. I had a stroke a few years ago and I can't manoeuvre my left hand as well to do fiddly bits like this. I had uh, quite severe nerve damage down my left side. Luckily I can walk and do everything but um yeah, it can be painful and it can be difficult and that was on top I already had um peripheral neuropathy from where I had cancer a few years ago and I had to have chemotherapy. So you know all these things it just so hence a shaky hand. That's what I'm trying to say. Now I haven't asked how Oh, you are moaning about myself here, and that, that I hope you're all well. Hope your weather's as good as ours at the moment. Although I must admit, I'd still like a nice holiday in the sun. I'm 
having one um, going away with my daughter again this year to uh, Fuerteventura, but that's not till the beginning of October again. But I am so looking forward to it. And I'm going to try and get another holiday in with my partner and take the caravan away for two or three weeks. A bit later on in the year, I think it probably be about August or September. Maybe sooner, perhaps a week sooner and a couple of weeks a bit later. It doesn't work out too bad actually, the year. Uh, caravan sites we go to, that's a bit of a mess isn't it? Look at me tutting, excuse me tutting. <laughs> Anybody else ever been in this situation? So I'm going to get him on now, so he's taken on the power fold. Perhaps I can No, I don't like well. No, I don't like that one. I don't want to have a little bit of glue on, but that. I want to have a bit of a sparkle. Here we go again. Let's try again. I see Tina from Shabby Dabby Doodah do this. With hot glue gun. And I don't know how she does it without burning herself. She must have asbestos fingers. I like a hot glue gun. Brilliant. I don't mind using one. I'm not nervous of using one or anything. But to do fiddly bits like this, I do um, draw the line. Now, do I have on each in between that I think that will look fine as it is. I'm quite pleased with that, that will be okay. There's some journaling space on the back. What I will do is, uh, when I have actually finished it, I'll come back and maybe add a few other little things, like little stamps and bits and bobs just to see, just to fill up the gaps. Hopefully it will go in right at the back. Oh, that sits nicely. That's it. Lovely. That's great. Um, I think we're going to put in a couple of bits of the lace. I have no idea of the time, so I'm going to have to look upside down at the camera. Sorry if I'm muttering. I do mutter. You just get chatting away and, and you forget that you know, the, the sound on your video or the video that people are watching might not be enough to pick up everything you're saying. Um, now, where's, where's that piece of... That's on this lacing. I'll trim it a bit later, but... Sure, that's the right side of it. Uh, maybe I'll come in about an inch all the way down the page. But no, honestly, this is absolutely brilliant to be back. I have been so looking forward to this.
doesn't hold it, nothing will. I do have one of those um, silicone spatula things, but I find it just as awkward. And um, these dry wet wipes get in and pick up a lot of the glue that's in between, you know, like in the holes of the lace, which is good. And where they haven't sort of got any lint on them yet, and they're not, you know, they, they just seem really good for doing this sort of thing. They said that the best thing is that they do pick up. I don't know if the light's catching this, but you can see where the bits of glue are. And as I go over it with this, it takes out a lot of that. Um, not all of it, unfortunately, but it does take out a lot of it, which makes it look nicer. peaceful outside. My, one of my neighbours was mowing his front lawn just now, but he's, I think he's finished. Excuse me, I'm just going to have a sip of my tea. That's better. Sorry if I'm off the screen. So. I'm going to put this in while I've got the fabric tack here. It's a bit of ink. Breaks up the um, the top of this page a bit, and also corresponds quite nicely with uh, the design on the other side. And while I've got it out, I'm going to use my fabric tack. Oh, doesn't it make you feel good when um, you start getting these warmer, sunnier days and all the um, oh, all the tulips in the garden are coming out because I've got them in tubs. Tulips and daffodils are coming out and um, I had a lot of those um, grape hyacinths, I think they're called. Yeah, I had a lot of the grape hyacinths. They're still blooming, some of them. And I've planted a lot of new shrubs this year, uh, including some lovely, um, I forget what they're called, not clementines, but, oh. No, no, it's gone again, it's gone again. I've planted a pyrrhus, and I've also planted some, um, no, I can't. Camellias, yeah. I've planted some camellias, uh, which are blooming. Um, yeah, peonies. Um, a skimmia, which smell absolutely gorgeous. Planted some hebes. Um, a hydrangea. Where else have I put in? Um, oh, I put a few hellebores in as well. I want to get some more of those 
in between the shrubs. Um, there's Melvin planting lots of stuff out there. And I had to move a couple of things as well into a better position. But yeah, we've got a large square um, flower bed and also quite a large side border. And then we've got a little fruit border next to the, just in front of the greenhouse. And then we've got down the bottom right hand corner of the garden, we've got all like these, um, they're like massive great um, cordy lines. I mean, some of them are about eight foot high now. So we call that the rainforest. And it's got a gun right in it as well because we get a lot of water down the bottom. We have to pump it out, it gets so wet. Um, and on the corresponding corner, nothing ever grew very much and it always looked scruffy. So we've now put a load of uh, cordy lines in there as well, some pink ones and green ones. So I am really looking forward to it all growing up this year. I think it's going to be lovely. Lacing all the purple tacks out. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to cover that pretty little bee up. So, if I cover bees, I've got enough bees. I'll do if I have time I'll finish this off camera and do a flip through or I'll finish it off in a, the next video and then do a flip through in the one afterwards oh, that is a bit crooked actually I don't mind that I don't like anything too perfect it's another thing a bit like my garden I don't mind um, a few weeds or wildflowers as I call them um, in fact I encourage some of them for the bees and insects and um, I don't have manicured boulders uh, at the lawn we, we just chop it down with the lawn mower and let it do its own thing basically but yeah I've planted a lot of um, those seed balls I scattered around in the areas that we're leaving for meadow I've scattered around oh, several tins of those uh, mixed seed balls and mixed wild flowers that grow obviously in the meadow because they're called the meadow ones. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I've, plant, I've uh, put some of those down a couple of weeks ago. So I'm hoping that some of them take. Now, yeah, do I want to go that way? Oh, that way, so I'm standing up to do this so I can see better. Uh, no, I think I'll keep it coming down like the rest. So I've got some of this at the bottom of the page as well. That's it. Yeah, call them to my email, the uh, delivery man, at around about 11 o'clock. Um... It's only five stops away, and it. When I looked on the map, it's only literally just up the road. But I think, and but it said that delivery time would be after two fifteen. So I can as only assume that he's done the morning bit of his rounds, and then probably stopped for lunch. But I just didn't want a chance going out in the garden and missing him in case they come out because they do that sometimes don't they and catch you out Hasn't stuck to anything. I'm very good at that. Gluing pages together. That was the old place, wasn't it? No, that's fine. Oh, that's it. Um, leave that to dry for a minute. Um, I'm trying to think what else I was going to do with this. 
I think most of it is just, oh, this is what I want to do, but I can't do it until that's dry. Uh, because I've got to turn this page over and stencil on it. I'm just going to ink it with the vintage photo. busy as well the last couple of weeks having a grand old clear out I've cleared out was it in the beginning of January I just started sorting my craft room out and everything was in the dining room so that I could sort through it and put back what I wanted to keep Lost enough fell ill and only recently had a chance to finish doing it but the amount of stuff that I have given away uh, to charity shops and things I had loads and loads of card making stuff left from my card making days years ago and I never make cards now um, and it was just taking up space I haven't got a huge craft room I've got lots of shelves and things but I haven't got a huge craft room and it was just taking up so much space and it was I couldn't think uh, it, it was start, it was depressing me basically it does I don't know if anybody else gets like that but I get very depressed if um, if there's too much chaos around me, I know my desk is a mess at the moment, but that will all be tidied up and put back in its proper places when I finish today, because I can't come back to a, an untidy desk, otherwise I don't want to come back to it at all um, and yeah so I had to do my craft room, so I did that, and also um, twice we've had people come round with the charity bags uh, collecting clothes for various charities and that and um, so we've been filling those up and I filled one up last week from my wardrobe. One of my wardrobes, I'd already done the others and then I filled one up yesterday from my drawer. I keep my underwear and my nightwear and t-shirts and things like that. From my drawers, should I say my chest of drawers. And it's so lovely to be able to open a drawer and close it again. I couldn't open them. Well, I could open them, but I couldn't get them shut again. You know, when you squash stuff down, and I was just absolutely squishing stuff down and shoving it in. And I thought, no. And a lot of the stuff I hadn't worn for probably three years, four years, maybe. And just hang on to it and hang on to it, don't you? And I thought, no, it's got to go. I had enough of it. So, yeah, I've been... Uh, I nearly pulled that off. Been pretty busy having a good old clear out, and I've been doing because for half of my bedroom, we've got our own bedrooms each, we've got quite big bedrooms. Um, half of my bedroom I've got as an art area, and I've got another desk up there, and I've got my easel, and I've got also got my printer up there actually, and um, shelves and things. And my partner's just put shelves up on the other side of it on my bedside of it because I had nowhere to put all my books so I put loads of shelves up there and I've also bought a couple of big shoe racks uh, so that I can get my shoes on there I can't get them out of their box really because a lot of them know is um, oh, what they're called irregular choice shoes and they are really fancy and lovely but I couldn't see what I'd got because they're all just stacked up somewhere on the floor and everywhere and it was just driving me mad so I've got that sorted and organised and then the other day I've just got a, a trolley for in here that's got all trays that slot into it and so I can put some of my things that are sitting around in wallets into there and also I've got some bigger trays which I'll have as project trays so I can keep each project separately in there hopefully it'll get some stuff off the floor um, Although it's not as bad as it was, so I can't really complain. But, yeah, oh, it does, though, doesn't it? It really, really gets to you. And I can't, you know, I can't think. And there's too much chaos around me, I just can't even think. Right, let's have a sip of my tea. Check the time. And, um... See if I've got time to just quickly do this page. I'm gonna do it with a with a brush. 
because it makes a much better finish on it. I thought I had a bigger brush than this, but this one will work. I'm just going to hold it in place once again. It won't be perfect. But hey, this is a junk jam after all, isn't it? And then I'm using that. Oh, it, nothing works, including when well, my head's never reworked. But <laughs> it, it certainly is working today. And I'm sure you won't mind. Yeah, I hope you won't anyway. As if you're still there at all. But I like to. Do this rather than just ink the page. I don't always want to put something on it, you know, cover it up. And this way it stops it being so boring and blank, it makes it more interesting. But it also stays as a journaling spot because you can write on top of this easily. Let's get a little bit around the edge, I don't want to start quite edges. I'll probably ink around the edge in a minute anyway, so well, that's pretty. Try and line it up ish. And the stencil I got off Amazon, and I, it was just a pack, an assorted pack of stencils. And there were quite a few in it that looked quite sort of art deco and that, so I thought, hmm, if it's exactly what I need, I'll use those. Which I have been quite a lot lately, and um, I did a, a nice art deco, proper all art deco, um, traveller's notebook last year, which happily is sold, but um, yeah, I used a lot of these stencils in that. They just work perfectly. Uh, it's definitely worth investing in these things, isn't it? If you know you're going to use them. But the trouble is I tend to buy things, just in case. But I do, happily, I do get round to using them. A lot of them, I'll, I'll never get round to using everything in my stash. Especially as I'm adding to it all the time. As I've said, I've got a package coming. Um... got some rub-ons in it but the rest of it I'll show you I'll show you when I unpackage it unbox it and I'll try and find out the names of the shops where they came from you usually get a little label or something in with each thing don't you so I'll do that and uh, I think these, there's, there are some some bits and pieces in here that were from a digital one. I think that was from Shabby Dabby Doodah, Doodah that uh, Tina on Shabby Dabby Doodah. It might have been hers, or then again it might have been Digital Collage Club, so I better be quiet. The, um, the papers I'm using, the main papers, um, are Graphic 45. Uh, a lady's diary uh, pack which are absolutely I mean I, I've got quite a lot of graphic 45 um, I generally keep it for my best journals it's it's quite expensive but it is so worth it it's so lovely and also I, I love um, Stamperia I've got um, it's like last Christmas I started some I started them late, really. Um, some traveller's notebooks, Christmas traveller's notebooks. Um, and I didn't get them done in time, but... I mean, Christmas is Christmas every year, isn't it? So... I will be finishing those for this year, but they're all done with Stamperia Christmas kits. 
and they are so, so pretty. Let's just get that bit off. Although I don't know, I'm going to leave it there because something adds to it. So, what else have I got? Let's just see if I've got time to put another. Yeah, I can. Yeah, I'm going to put a piece of. I love this lace. I've got quite a lot of pink that's going to go in it, so I think I'll have to put this in somewhere. I'll put it just there where I've just done that. Oh, that looks nice. Yeah, I think that's going there. Yep. Come on, tell me where to put my glue. I don't, oh, is that, no, that's not the wrong one. Here it is. <laughs> oh, God, dear. Could it get any worse? No. I think that's the right side. I guess I hope it is. It's going to be now. Camera then, and not concentrating what I was doing. Just checking that my that I'm still recording because these things mine anyway. Sometimes there's a habit of turning itself off halfway through a video, and <laughs> you don't realise until you stop and look at it, and you think, "Damn, I've lost you know X amount of my video now." I have learned that it's when I've got too much uh, on it and not enough storage left. So I do, before I do a video now, I do try and get rid of some stuff or archive it or do something with it to make sure I've got enough space. There's nothing worse, I think. I sit there for an hour, maybe even longer, chatting away, <laughs> chatting away to people and... Um, you know, working away and you're really pleased with what you've done and thoroughly enjoying it and think, oh, that was quite nice. That was lovely. And then you look and find that half of it didn't record. <laughs> there is nothing, nothing much more annoying than that as far as this sort of thing goes anyway. I think lots, lots of other things that are more annoying than that. But, uh, I mean, junk journal related journaling related that's, uh, oh that's quite pretty doesn't it I'm just going to trim in down a little bit I'm going to use my paper scissors just now didn't I for this leave a little bit at the top I think Absolutely raring to go with everything now. I just, I have missed it so much. It's been like, um, I don't know. I can not It's. I mean, I haven't done that many videos, but I think because I suffer with depression and that, I think um, it, it's like an outlet. Because I don't see many people. I've got like a social phobia, so I don't go out a lot on my own anyway um, and I do suffer with depression and doing this also helps with that because it takes me out of myself and it makes me a bit sociable and it just becomes a part of life and I, I've missed it so much 
it's like losing company, even though, you know, I don't know who's watching it, I don't know who's listening, um, and I know you can't talk back to me, or answer any questions or anything like that, but it's just, I don't know, it is just company, it is really company, in a really strange sort of way. I do enjoy it. I'm hoping to, I've got a tripod. I'm hoping to get my camera fixed up to put down in my pottery throwing shed this summer. So all being well, look out for that. Um, it won't be much terribly exciting at first. I'm going to be a bit nervous throwing on camera. I've never done that before. And I'm not the world's best, even though I've been doing pottery for years and years. Um, I just don't do that much of the throwing, but hopefully I'll be doing a bit more this year than I did last year. Yeah. Let's have a look, see how she's doing. Mm. Yeah, we definitely need more fruit than that, could have done with coming out a bit further in there. That's pretty. piece on this page maybe put a piece on that page to strengthen it I'm not sure but anyway I think that's uh, I'm still standing up now I think that's it for today let's just check my time sorry about this yeah I'm gonna call that a video for today whoops don't me on now and um yeah, in the next one I'll do some more on this. That's if I don't get some done off camera. Um, so either way, next time I'll either be doing some more of this and hopefully completely finishing it off, um, or I'll be doing a flip through. And uh, look out for, also for a video where I'll be unboxing what I bought today. Well, I didn't buy it today, I bought it. When did I buy it? I think it was only yesterday or the day before yesterday. Yeah. Evening before last? No, it might actually not. I think it was only yesterday morning. Yes, it was yesterday morning that I ordered it. And it's coming through already. I did get a little bit carried away. Um, but I'm dreadful for that. That's nothing. I, don't, I do like spending money. That will. But, uh, yeah. There's nothing like having some new craft stuff, is there? I think it's lovely. That's another lift, isn't it? Anyway, I'm going to love you and leave you and uh, go and have a fresh cup of tea. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. I, I hope you've enjoyed it. I've really enjoyed being here. And um, I hope you have a lovely afternoon. And look at that, we didn't get disturbed by the postman. Uh, anyway, so take care of your body and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.